Hi guys, welcome back to Farzalozi and I am here with another new tutorial, another new color grading tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will use just three adjustment layers. One is channel mixer and then we will use the selective color and then we will use the hue and saturation layer. So it's a very easy tutorial. Okay, now let's get started. <laughs> So look at this beautiful picture uh, there is the red color the red flowers we want to uh, increase the redness we want to focus on the red and then there is a green background but I think red uh, contrast with more the cyan so I want to convert the green color into cyan color a little bit uh, okay so let's do at first I want to use the channel mixers option this is the channel mixer option okay let's try with first green and I want to apply a zero for green and then 100 for blue look at this it looks already good okay now go to the blue channel and here I want to put zero for blue and 100 for green gives you a purplish look but we don't want purple right now uh, so change the blending mode to lighten and now look at the green uh, it's turned out to be a little bit sign and look it looks beautiful and the red looks also good that's fine and now we want to use the second adjustment layer the selective color yes it is and okay let's work with red first and remember we want to emphasize the red we want to pop out the red color because of the floor we want to focus on the flower right now so here let's look at this look at the color so here i'm giving around minus let's apply minus 18 for cyan in case of reds that's good let's play with the magenta that's not what we want we want a red so i am here giving plus 10 for magenta let's play with the yellow mm. give her 10 also so look at this before and after look at this this was the before look at the reds look at the flowers and this is after it's good then go to the cyan channel so our cyan colors and here I have to increase the sign a little bit, not a little bit. Uh, so I'm giving plus 50 for sign. Now look at this, look at the colors. Let's play with the magenta. Look at this. Wow. I love this type of color. Yeah. So here I'm giving around minus 50 for magenta. Let's play with the yellow now. I think this color is looking good. So I'm giving around plus 35 that's fine that's good look at this this was the before and this is after look at the flowers look at the background it looks beautiful okay uh, now I want to add a little bit of vignette effect dark areas in the corner so okay let's do it the selective color it's a it's easy so create a selective color adjustment layer and then change the blending mode to multiply it gives you a little bit dark view okay now i want to uh, mask this area and to remove this area so click on the mask and pick your brush with the black color set the black color as a foreground color and now make a bigger brush and just click it's gone look at this and now Make the brush a little bit smaller and paint on the flowers. Okay, let's decrease the flow around 50% and then paint. Oops. That's fine. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. 
looks again this is the before and this is after now we can decrease the opacity around i'm giving around 50 percent look at this this was the before and this is after it looks great it looks natural that's fine now we will apply the third adjustment layer the hue and saturation layer okay so create a hue and saturation layer and in this layer uh, we will notice about just about the red color so here select the red and increase the saturation around 25 i think now look at this this was the before and this is after look at this again this was the before and this is after look at the red it looks beautiful but i don't apply reds on her skin so click on the mask again and increase the flow to 100 and just mask her skin like this it's simple and now look at this this was the before and this is after it looks great and now again create another hue and saturation layer and now we'll work on the cyan color so select here cyan let's increase the saturation around maybe 10 plus 10 okay and decrease the lightness around minus 7 or minus 5 minus 6 whatever you like let's go with it look at this this was the before and this is after look at the color of sign it looks great okay now if you want a matte color a matte effect you can uh, create curves and just then create the famous three point and now click on this part and just drag a little bit not too much i think and now look at this this was the before and this is after it gives you a little bit faded look it's fine you can always decrease the opacity from here that's good but look at this uh, the texture of the heads is not clear uh, i want to bring back the texture of the hat a little bit okay i think i should do it uh, before doing all this editing uh, i forgot that okay so i have to apply this now uh, so for this i want to create another layer by pressing shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e just like this and now go to the image and then adjustment and then shadows and highlights okay you can do these things in camera or also okay let's use this one i don't want to affect the shadows so zero for the shadows and oops i'm giving i think plus seven look at this this was the before and this is after look at the texture now look at the texture of the hat it looks good look at this okay this was the before this is the after actually and this is before look at the texture it's looking fine now okay so now press okay look at this this was the before and this is after okay you should do it before all this editing before applying all the adjustment i forgot that okay okay the another thing it's irritating me or it's distracting me this part okay look at this okay i'm using the lasso tool i want to uh fill this area with this sign color uh it's distracting me a little bit maybe not in case of you but i don't like this but so i want to use the content hour fill or you can use any like uh yeah clone stamp tool you can use clone stamp tool to fill this area okay let's do with the easiest one content hour fill so select the area and select here content hour fill and now you can see the preview here the new photoshop 2021 so it's easy look at this now it looks smooth there is no other area press ok that's fine now i want to fill this area also right click on the mouse and then content our fill look at the preview it looks good so press ok it's done 
it's done i think the editing is done okay look at this this was the before and this is after look at this look at the colors i love this color when the red flower is in the picture i love this color so if you will love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you